Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. I'm Dr. Adlaghafar Halimi and I'm working as a data scientist for the Coast Visualization Core Lab. And today, we're gonna try to see how to set up a development environment for Windows users by installing Ubuntu and Docker on WSL. So first of all, what is WSL? WSL or Windows Subsystem for Linux is a very powerful tool that allows us to run a Linux environment directly on your Windows machine. So with WSL, you can easily install and use Ubuntu and Docker to take advantage of the powerful features of both Linux and Windows. And so in order to set up this environment, I'll be using a fresh Windows installation using a virtual machine as you can see here, just to be in the same conditions as you of course. And yes, keep in mind that all the manipulations I'm gonna do are documented in this Confluence page that you can see here. All the different steps are described here, and I will put the link of the of this Confluence page in the description of the video, of course. Okay, so to get started, the first thing you need to do is to install WSL. This can be done in two ways, either by using Microsoft Store and by looking for Windows Subsystem and then get it, or by using the command lines. In my case, I prefer to it doing it using the command lines. So for that, you need to open a PowerShell prompt as an administrator. I recommend you to use Windows Terminal. So for that, you look for Terminal. Then run it as administrator. And then you need to run this command wsl minus minus install okay so this command will enable all the features necessary to run wsl and also at the end of the process of this command it's gonna install the default version of ubuntu available in the Microsoft Store. It's also recommended to reboot your machine after the initial installation to complete the setup. So as it's gonna take some time, I will speed up the video and I will see you after the reboot. Of course, thanks. Alright, so now that my WSL is installed, I need to conf configure my default version of Ubuntu. For that, I just need to enter a username, I will use for example Ardell, and then a password. Another time. And that's it. You are using now the terminal of the default version of Ubuntu installed by WSL. But it turns out that WSL supports a variety of Linux distribution including the latest Ubuntu release. You can find them by opening the Microsoft Store and searching for Ubuntu. So if you look for Ubuntu, We will find a variety of different version of Ubuntu. So choose the distribution you prefer and then select get. For me, I will take the Ubuntu 22.04. So this 
gonna be downloaded and install it on your machine after clicking on get okay so once installed you can either launch the application directly from the store or search for the Ubuntu in your Windows map, Windows Terminal. Show you. And I will choose the Ubuntu 2204. Protect and sometimes to view it and I have to do the same thing. Add any username and the password. Up there. Perfect. Now you are using the terminal of the Ubuntu 2204 version in WSL. Just to check, this is the network directory. If we switch to the home, we will find our file systems of the Ubuntu. And uh, if you want to find all your files from Windows, you need to change the directory to the MNT and then list and you can find the hard drive C and all your files this is great which is very interesting and very useful if you want to do or like executing Python scripts from Windows into your Ubuntu another thing to do is to always Install the latest updates with the following command. This one. You do apt update and upgrade. This is good practice. This will update uh, Ubuntu to the latest version and ensure that all the packages are up to date. All right. So now I want to also show you that it is possible to install other distributions available on the Windows Store directly from the command line. I'll give you an example. So back to your PowerShell and here run this command WSL minus minus list online. This is gonna give you all the distribution available in the Microsoft Store. And then, in order to install distribution, run this command WSL minus minus install minus D and choose distribution. In my case, I will take the Kali Linux. Okay. So this command is going to start the installation and the, at the end it will ask you also for the username and password. And that's it. You are using now the terminal of the Kali Linux distribution on WSL. So now you can run both. Ubuntu. and Kali Linux and one last command that I want to show you in order to see uh, all your currently installed distribution and which version of WSL are you using tape WSL minus L minus V so you can see that our Ubuntu and Kali are running using the version 2 of WSL all right congratulations you now have an Ubuntu terminal running on your Windows machine. The next step is to install Docker Desktop. To do this, you need to go to the docker.com and to download the desktop version for Windows and to install it. 
as it's gonna take some time i will speed up the video see you later our docker desktop is working now you need to check some stuff so you need to go to settings settings general and see if it's using the wsl based engine if it's not enable it another thing to do is to go to settings settings resources wsl integration and enable all the distribution that you have installed. In our case, Ubuntu and Kali. And this is the default version. And you apply and restart. Okay, so in order to check if it's well integrated, you can open Windows Terminal. And select Ubuntu for example and then run this command docker run hello world okay it's uh, pulling the images And it's working perfect you can see that uh, from this major message show that your installation appears to be working correctly all right so here we are at the final steps which is now to install vs code and then add all the extension like wsl and docker to it for that you need to go to studio.com and to download VS Code for Windows and to install it. Okay, so now you can look for the extensions and install docker extension and wsl extension it's already proposing to me to install docker i will install it and i will look for wsl i install it okay so now you have two choices Either you connect to WSL remotely from VS Code like this. You connect to your WSL. It's gonna start a new session. Okay, it's connected, so I can go to my new terminal. That will be into my Ubuntu, which can use docker of course perfect everything is working the other choice is to go to start a new window and then you will find your docker extension like this so here you can find all the containers that you have run and all the image images that you have pulled in our case it's just hello world 
and you can start new terminal and then choose in which distribution you want to use like Ubuntu or Kali for example and that's it I hope you enjoyed watching this video and found this tutorial helpful thank you for watching again and see you next time for other tutorials bye